anytime you give me a call, say, hello, before I answer you, I always pause, delay, because I need to say thank you, Jesus, before I answer you. You say, hello, oh, who's on the line? I've said thank you, Jesus, before I say who's on the line. But you, hello, hello. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. How often do you say thank you, Jesus? Ask your neighbor. I'm very sure you have never said thank you, Jesus. Because you don't know how much you need Jesus. You don't know. You just believe you need Jesus for big miracle. When you have problem, you run to him, solve the problem. That is what you need Jesus for. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you don't know how much you need Jesus. That is, take note of that. If you know how much you need Jesus, when you walk to another room, you will say, thank you, Jesus. When you sit down in your car to drive, you will say, thank you, Jesus. When you stop at traffic lights, you will say, thank you, Jesus. That does not mean you are crazy. Out of abundance of heart, the man go, and you cannot live above your word. As a Christian, if truly you are a believer, when you say A is A, when you say B, B is B, you cannot live above your word. When you see a beautiful aspect of nature, you say, thank you, Jesus. He said that you say, ah. Hmm? When you pause to wash your hand or to comb your hair, you say, thank you, Jesus. You need to know how much you need Jesus. I was expecting everyone to say, thank you, Jesus. So that does not mean you just say it without your heart. You must say it with all your hearts. They say, out of abundance of heart, the mouth speaks. The first person you think of in the morning, and the last person you think of in the night should be Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. I believe you, you cultivate this habit. Are you ready to build this habit? Okay. When you stand up, you say what? Well, yeah, stand up. Sit down. Are you sure you continue this? <laughs> yes, you just have to confess whom you are. So you have not been confessed whom you are. When you look at me, turn, turn around. Before I turn, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to call someone there. Before I say, Mr. John, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the grace to call. But you don't know how much you need Jesus. Okay, try to talk to your neighbor. Before then, say thank you, Jesus, in your heart. No, don't say it aloud with all your heart. Hey, talk to your neighbor. Thank you. So you say thank you, Jesus, before you talk to your neighbor. Even greeting your neighbor before greeting, thank you, Jesus, before you greet him. If all what you are doing for God's sake, how often do you deliberately try to keep a smile on your face? For God's sake. Hmm? 
Hallelujah. So, thank you, Jesus. That is my life. Every moment, look at, I'm taking another step. I say, thank you, Jesus. But, thank you, Jesus. Because I know how much I need Jesus. Without him, I will fall. Without him, I will fall. And I don't, I don't want you to take me on PPA. I don't want you to attack me on PPA. This is why anytime you give me a call, say, hello, before I answer you, I always pause, delay, because I need to say thank you, Jesus, before I answer you. You say, hello, oh, Who's on the line? I've said thank you, Jesus, before I say who's on the line. But you, hello, hello. Without asking for the grace. Because you need corresponding power. You live by corresponding power. Power from above. Tell your neighbor, I live by corresponding power. Yes, corresponding power that is the power from above. The life you live is not your. Hallelujah. So don't forget what you are taking home now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You must know how much you need him. You need him to laugh. <laughs> you need him to walk. You need him to turn around. You need him to greet. Every moment, thank you, Jesus. You thank him for giving you the grace to do that. Hallelujah.